Well, you just shot the left to right crosser. Now, I'm obviously left-handed, so that's my natural swing. We're now going to shoot a right to left crosser, and this brings in a little bit of a connotation. The right to left bird for me needs more apparent lead than it does left to right. And what you'll see is this. If I'm empty gun, if I'm swinging left to right, my natural rotation, it's how I'd hit a tennis racket or a baseball bat, swing a golf club. The gun's coming into my face and the hand, if you can picture a horse, is efficiently pulling the gun. So this is my natural swing left to right. When I go right to left, it's against my natural rotation. The hand is inefficiently pushing the gun and it's pushing it off my face. So I need an opposing hand technique. I need to step more into the line than I would with a left to right crosser. And I have to make sure the gun stays in my face with this hand while I drive it with this one. And I will see about half as much again lead. So if I was saying two or three feet that side, I'll see three or four this side. Now, obviously, if you're right handed, the right to left would be a natural swing and the left to right would cause you the same problem. So just remember a little step further round, opposing hand action and to give that bird a smidgen more than you would the other direction. I'll demonstrate for myself. Pull. 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 And you can see how much more I have to come round to shoot that target. And I can tell you now, when you see the shot cam, I'm giving a lot more forward allowance on the same target I've just been shooting. And so, that's the right to left crosser. Just remember to make most efficiency. This is good for me this way. And this way, I have to make a further step round and put more lead on the bird while keeping the gun fully in my face.